Welcome to Scratch Junior Coding. This is a series of videos to help you learn to code using Scratch Junior. On Scratch Junior, you can create your own stories, riddles, games, and whatever else you want to create. You're in control of everything and the programs that you write. You will need the Scratch Junior app on your iPad, Android tablet, or computer. Scratch Junior is a free download and you'll have to get it so that you can do coding with us. Today, you're going to create something like this. We're going to have just a few seconds to memorize everything that's behind these cards. You ready? I'm going to hit the green flag. We have a rabbit, a fish, a pig, a dog. Whew. Did you memorize it that fast? So we're creating a memory game. I remember there was a rabbit here. Where was the starfish? I think the starfish was here. That's the dog. So I got one point for the rabbit. I didn't get the dog. Is the starfish on this one? Okay. And I think the pig was right here. And the frog was right here. And the fish was right here. So I got five points out of six. So are you ready to make a memory game? If we look at our characters, let's see what coding it has for the characters. There's not any. How about for the pig? The dog? The frog? There's no coding for the characters. There is coding for each of these cards. When you click on the card, it goes away. So here's all my different cards. Let's look at the code for one of these cards. So when you touch it, this symbol, this block makes it go invisible. So when it's touched, it goes invisible. Let's look at another one. I'm going to click on it and it goes invisible. Another thing that the car does is whenever you click on the flag, it just wiggles a little bit. It moves to the left, it moves to the right, wiggles a little bit, and then it disappears. It gives you 20 time. It's not 20 seconds, it's just 20 units of time. And then it shows up. So let's see what that looks like. It wiggles, it's given us a little bit of time to look at it, then it come, goes back visible, and then that's the end. Let's look at that again. So it's gonna, when I click the green flag, it's gonna wiggle a little bit, get invisible for a little bit of time for us to learn it, and then it shows back up and hides it from us and it stops and it doesn't do anything else until we click on it and then it goes invisible again so we have this little bit of time to memorize it and then it shows back up so that's the game we're going to create today click the plus to create a new project let's get rid of tick by holding down and clicking the x let's get some new characters We'll get the dog. A pig. And a frog. Let's make the pig a little smaller. so he can hide behind a card. We'll make the dog a little smaller so he can hide behind a card too. You know from previous lessons, whenever I click on the dog, this is the coding area for the dog. When I click on the pig, this is his coding area. And the frog, we haven't done anything to him yet. And we're done making him smaller so we'll get rid of that. And we don't need to make the dog any smaller either. Let's just do three cards to memorize in our memory game today. If we go into our characters, do you see anything that could be used for a card to go over them? We're going to have to go into the editor and draw something ourselves because we don't have anything here. We're going to have to draw something. So I'll click on the paintbrush here to edit a photo. 
I'm going to draw a square. And get a little bit lighter green. And fill my bucket up with that green and then dump my bucket in the square. That's a good size. It covers it up. Now I need three of these characters. You could go in and draw it three times, but a really easy way to copy that character is to hold down on it, hold down on it, and drag it into this scene and let it go. Now there's two of them. If you hold down on it and you don't move, it's going to think you want to delete it. So don't do that. Just hold down on it and move really quick and let it go on your scene. Now I have three of them. So I have three cards and we'll put the third card over the frog. So I have three cards here. We could rename them if we want to. Card one, card two, and card three. So do you remember what we have to do for the card? What kind of programming do we need to do for the card? Whenever you first start the game and you hit the green flag, you want it to disappear for just a little while. So when we hit the green flag, the purple blocks makes it look different. And so underneath the purple block is something to make it disappear. And after that, we're going to make it reappear, which will make it cover up the animal again. But we have to wait a little while. Give the players of your game just a little bit of time to memorize what's behind the cards. So we'll give them about 20 on the clock, and then it'll reappear. And then it'll stop. So when we hit this green flag, let's see what happens. So it disappeared for a count of 20, and then it showed back up. So that works perfect. Now we could redo that for all three of our cards, or we could just drag this code to card number two, and drag this code to card number one. I just let go, and look, it has the same code for card number one the same code for card number two. So let's see what it looks like. Now we have time to memorize it and then they show back up. But when I click on them, it doesn't show me if I'm right. So let's just say I'm playing this game. I click on the flag and I try to memorize that it's a frog and then what else? I don't remember. Okay, but I do remember this is a frog so I'll click on it and see if I'm right. Click on it and nothing happened. We're missing some code. So for card number one, we want it to do something when we click on it. That is this yellow starting block. What we want it to do is disappear again. That's in our appearance blocks right here. It disappears and that's the end. That's all we need it to do. So which one is card number one? This one? That one. This is card number one because when I clicked on it, it disappeared. So we're going to, if you look at card number two and card number three, it does not have this code in it. Let's just drag that to card number two and let go. Drag that to card number three and let go. And all three of them have all that coding that we just did. So we have just a few seconds to memorize it. It was a frog and a pig and a dog. I got three points. If you want to have some 
pictures so that the players of your game know what's behind the cards because this happens so fast. They have just a few seconds and then it disappears and they don't remember if there's even a starfish back there. There's a fast way to make another copy of these characters so we could put them down here. I'll just drag it without deleting it. I'll just drag it to the scene. Drag a copy of the pig to the scene. Drag the frog to the scene. I'll mix them up. And then when your players play the game and they click on the green flag and they have just a minute to memorize it and then they know the characters are supposed to guess. Okay, where was the fro where was the dog? He's right here. Where was the pig? He was right here. Makes it a little easier when you can see him. Now it's your turn. Create a new project. Add some characters to your project. And then cover them up with some rectangles or squares, any shape that you want, and make a memory game out of it. We've learned a couple of shortcuts today. We've learned how to drag a character from one of your characters that you already have onto the scene to make a copy of it. We've also learned how to copy code from one character to another character by just dragging it from this programming window onto the other character. So you can make use of those shortcuts and make your own memory game. Today we also learned how to make characters disappear and reappear. If you can make characters in your game disappear and reappear to make this memory game, then congratulations, you've mastered this lesson. This free kids coding lesson was provided by STEM in Games. Subscribe, watch more lessons, and keep practicing, and soon you will be creating new worlds and games and making your ideas come to life. I'll see you next time.